Good afternoon, I'm Pamela Van Meer, co-worth of 411 News, and this is your 5 at 530. Your top news headlines from in and around the city of Kawartha Lakes for Wednesday, November 4th, sponsored by Income Tax Plus and Lindsay, family owned and operated since 1988. Officials with the Ontario government were in Minden Hills today to announce an investment of $680 million to improve and expand broadband and cellular access across the province. It's in addition to $350 million already announced to support the up-to-speed Ontario's broadband and cellular action plan. We've invested, as I said, $150 million for ICON, $71 million in SWIFT, the Southwestern Ontario Broadband Network, $63 million for the Eastern Ontario Regional Network or EARN, filling the cell gaps and dead zones in Eastern Ontario, and $30 million for the Matawa Project connecting six First Nations in Northern Ontario. And now today, $680 million more million for broadband, totaling close to $1 billion for broadband that will improve people's lives public health and economic development to unserved and underserved communities like Halliburton County. We're hopeful that the federal government will release its universal broadband fund. Ontario has stepped up and is putting $1 billion on the table. Ontario isn't waiting any longer. That is why we are taking action today. As the Premier has said, there is no more important infrastructure project than broadband. In the 21st century, connectivity is no longer a luxury. It is a necessity. It is a social, cultural, and economic lifeline for students, families, businesses, and seniors in communities across the province. The COVID-19 pandemic has only highlighted this need. Members of the AMO and the Rural Ontario Municipal Association have been calling for investments in broadband infrastructure, particularly now as we try to recover from COVID-19 and strive for long-term prosperity. According to the CRTC, over 1.4 million people in Ontario do not have broadband or cellular access, and as many as 12% of households in Ontario, mostly in rural, remote and northern communities, are underserved or unserved from the perspective of broadband. The province is investing $190 million in integrated fibre technology to bring high-speed broadband to 50,000 more homes and businesses across southwestern Ontario. The first legal retail cannabis store in the city of Kawartha Lakes is now open. The 420 store is located at the Whitney Town Centre at 370 Kent Street West in Lindsay. They opened on Saturday and the owners say they've been very busy. It's a family owned operation providing eight local full time jobs and they're open seven days a week. Uh, we're, we're a full uh, approved authorized retailer of cannabis, so we have all of the varieties that you'll find at the OCS website, all of the things that they have to offer. So we have dried flowers, we have edibles, we have uh, our lotions and we have concentrates and uh, vapables uh, and accessories. So we have the full spectrum of everything that the OCS has to offer. Yeah, pretty much we carry over 70 strains too of cannabis, so we have a good selection of the sativa, indicas and hybrids. Um, and our CBD selection is excellent because we know that would be, um, it's very popular right now, CBD, and it is something that a lot of people use. So we have a high CBD section as well. The, the idea came almost two years ago. Uh, we started with the process with the lotteries, uh, which weren't successful for us. But on January 6th, they opened it up to the public, so it was free market. We applied for our license on January 6th, and uh, we received uh, confirmation in May that uh, we were moving forward in the process. So we procured our lease space here uh, in the Whitney Town Center and we started to work on the store. Uh, there were two inspection gates uh, as we moved along. We received our final inspection on October 30th. But we're very happy to be here. Um, I'm pretty I'm local here too. So I live in Lake Just Little Britain. So I'm very excited for our community to have this here um, and to provide the jobs as well to our community. For more information, go to the420store.ca. We are always looking for news, so if you're out and about in the city of Kawartha Lakes and you see breaking news happening, let us know. If you have a good news story or something you feel might be of community interest, you can also reach out to us at info at kawartha411.ca or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.
It's time now to take a look at the weather. Our weather is sponsored by Team Brad Bird, Mincomplex Realty and Lindsay, a team that'll get your home sold. Beautiful blue skies out there today and nothing but sun, and it will be the same for the next few days. For Thursday, sunny, becoming a mix of sun and cloud in the morning with a high of 15 degrees and a low down to plus 4 overnight. On Friday, sunny again and a high of 17 with a low of plus 5. And on Saturday, a mix of sun and cloud with a high of 15 and a low of plus 4. That's your weather, sponsored by Team Brad Bird, Mincomplex Realty, in Lindsay. That's your news for Wednesday, November 4th. For a look at all of the day's news in depth, you can go to our website, kawartha411.ca. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great night. We will see you tomorrow.